I've been asking around the market what happened to the recent supply of beer that was brought to Roma. Well, I found the reason why it's all gone. <laughs>
Okay, let's uh, fast forward through this because we just have to turn that into good old Willy over here at our harbor. Sails. Uh, there's another quest over here that I picked up for Princess Ching, but quite frankly, I could care less. Anyway, so while we have that working, we need to find a suitable source of of hops okay now there's a reason why i said to go and colonize an island that has a specific type of fertility on there being hops and that is our version of capua because it does have hop fertility over here and what i have done in the interim is actually started out pre-planning what this island needs so what i'm going to do is i'm going to fast forward this really quick the moment that we actually have the settlement built up I will come back here and I will continue on with how we get these farm fields up. All right, three, two, one. Okay, we got Capua underway and we have 372 farmers over here, which is perfect. We are providing them with everything they need as far as fish, work clothes. They also have a timber production over here. That's all we'll really need right now. It's totally fine. Later on, we will exploit these different deposits of minerals along with the different fertilities over here at some point but now we need to work on these hop farms and what i want to try to do is actually get them started back over here this is more me thing but i kind of like to build these far away from my city because moving farm fields after a certain point like not meeting expectations oh okay great we're we're both on that on that front anyway so we're gonna put a warehouse right over here and this is gonna be our central point and like I mentioned, we're probably going to need around six of these if I did the math correctly, which I may may or may not have. Math has never been my strong suit. And this is what the building looks like, okay? It's actually quite nice, if you want my honest opinion. So we're going to put one over here. We're taking every care. And they have 96 farm fields to begin with, so they're not really massive, okay? And we'll start that off like right over there. You can grab another one, park it down right over here and you can continue on like this remember if you want to extend your farm fields beyond what they have you can always hold down the shift key and pull eventually the game will tell you enough is enough and it'll tell you to stop so let's see how far we can get see like that's as much as it's telling me that we can actually build as far as like this hop farm is concerned so we'll put another one like right over here and we will build this side up as well it didn't want to go in the right spot but i wanted it to like right over here and pretty much this is how to get the whole beer thing going it, it like i said some people really enjoy this particular part of the artisan <laughs> hell as i like to call it but i personally i've never been a big fan of this tier so i definitely want to make sure that there are ways of getting around this particular situation there is a point in which I will be talking about the Docklands DLC, which that one is <laughs> one that you should get, honestly. It, it's game-changing on levels of broken that I, I can't even properly explain. So we need just one more farm. I kind of need to fix this road up a little bit more, and I think we should be good. So we'll put this one right over here, and I'll just elongate it all the way to, like, here, and that should be good. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. And what we should do is instead of having like steel beams, bricks, windows, we can right click these to get rid of them. And then you can click into here once more. And we're going to put the hops there. Okay. So now these guys are going to start producing hops. Problem is, it's just going to take a while. Okay. So we'll have to let this cook for a little while. In the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and i'm going to build another ship now there are all the ships are unlocked for this current stage of the game and in the next episode i'm going to be discussing every single one of these ships in its entirety so you know which one to get which one to avoid what does what better etc etc so we're going to go ahead and build the schooner and i'm going to go ahead and fast forward this until the schooner is built and we will go ahead and continue on with making a trade route ship constructed okay so we got our new we schooner assist, however we may that's such a cool name, the Puerco Invicto. Awesome. So what we're going to do is we're going to set a route now, and it's going to go under the Roma to Capua. And we're going to start the trade route. We're going to find the Puerco Invicto, and we're going to click on Capua. And we're going to go find where the hops are. So the hops are right here. It'll have 50 automatically generate. That's totally fine. And then we're going to click on Roma, click to unload the good, and then accept. And what you can do here is click on these three lines and then move to the Roma Capua group. 
That way you can see all the stuff that you have here and it makes it a lot cleaner. It won't have a whole bunch of bloating up in here too because later on this trade and charter routes are going to be so overloaded with stuff. It's unbelievable. So we now have the Puerco Invicto going to get our first batch of hops, which is going to be around 16, I believe. Stations. Yep, perfect. And all the while, we have been producing malt over here. So let's see how much malt we have. We have 70. So this has actually been working very, very quickly. So now what we can do is we have the worker workforce. That's fantastic. We can go ahead and build up this warehouse and we can go ahead and build up two of these breweries just to start okay two should be sufficient enough for right now if we were to go to the production right we'll be able to see how much our people are going to want to drink beer so our artisans alone are going to want at least a little over a ton per minute okay and with two breweries active we will still be making the quota just see how much they're actually consuming. If we were to activate the need on our workers, on the other hand, you we will go ahead and do that. Voice. If we go back over here to the production, you'll notice that they'll want four per minute. See how much they drink? It's a lot. So, for the time being, I'm going to cut them off because they've been having too much, as you can clearly see for the guy in the intro. And we'll have these breweries just stockpile what they need right now they're just grabbing the malt and bringing it over and because i built this place all with dirt roads i'm just going to go ahead and upgrade them with uh cave roads that way they'll actually be able to transport the goods faster and this is a little bit of a uh, a beauty build thing for me i i kind of like putting like cave roads and streets in between farm fields i i really like this look so uh if you want definitely take a look at this because it's actually the nicest most balanced way of getting this little production up and running so we should be getting our first shipment, if not already to, you know, provided in here. We have our first hops, and that is fantastic. So that means these guys are going to start producing the beer, and they already are. Busy, people. So they're going to start doing this. Very simple. They're going to provide it to our people, and you're going to notice that the money that you're going to you're, that you're getting right now is going to skyrocket Life is like seawater that only deepens one's thirst okay now they're at 41 why was i saying they were 39 who the heck was at 39 i swear to god i saw 39 okay now my brain is playing tricks on me okay so we're just gonna wait to see the first amount of beer come in here and look at the top left we have 636 coming in as far as our positive balance so when we actually have this in and this is just from artisans by the way it's going up 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 and not only are you making money from this it's kind of simple if you just provide it to these guys you're also selling your soap all of these put together you Let's are going to make workers. so much money early I game think of that dreary struggle i know how fortunate and the good thing is that overall island population and happiness is plus 17 and plus 22 with everybody so this is fantastic. If you were to provide it to your workers at this stage, we would actually have to get these other two breweries up. And we can for the hell of it and see what happens. Let's put those two up. And I think we're we're getting enough hops. That should be pretty solid. Like we're, I think this is the ship that's bringing it in. Yep. Okay. If you pop off now, you'll be back in time for tennis. All right. Two frigates. Yeah, that ain't going to happen. So, if we start providing it to these guys, which we should have enough, right? Yep, we should have enough. We'll see how much they are actually going to pay us. Yep, that's perfect, actually. So, we're getting close to 3. We might get close to, like, 3.2-ish, maybe? Maybe a little bit more? Yeah, pretty good. Yep, we passed 3.2. So that's as much money as you're going to make, and you'll so see. Snake eyes. Be quiet. This is what you're going to be making a lot of money if you start providing them with beer, okay? Beer is one of those particular items that, even though it's part of a previous chain, it's better to wait for the artisans to actually get them running, because the amount of money you're going to be gaining and the amount of efficiency and benefits from actually having beer at this stage in the game 
far outweighs providing them to just the workers that's going to be paying you at least half of what artisans will do because back to the sin all of these guys all these workers eventually are going to be artisan plus okay and the more you provide to those artisans the more money you're going to make obviously you're going to have to provide more resources to get that thing running even faster which kind of attributes to the why i don't particularly excuse me like it it can get very very complicated there is a way to optimize it to make it a lot better and i will show you guys how to do that later on i'm going to make like individual guide videos for how to optimize specific chains but this is just a basic overview on how powerful beer can be so i hope you guys enjoyed this episode definitely informative definitely something you should definitely consider i said definitely way too many times oh my god so if you did like what you see and you're new here please consider subscribing i'm very active on this channel would definitely like to see it grow and make this a full-time thing it would be fantastic until next time though my friends please consider like commenting subscribing hitting that bell button sharing it with your friends and i will catch you on the next episode my rantians but uh, now i'm actually gonna go try some of that beer before they all drink it okay see you later